Yes. Hello once again, Bahamas. We continue our prayer for the nation on this day, our national day. Our prayer and fasting. We're getting down to the wire now, but we must continue to pray. And then at 6 o'clock, we will all gather in front of our televisions to watch the national prayer service and pray along with those who are praying on the national prayer service. We will all support and we will all get in front of our televisions and come in agreement as those leaders who are praying this evening will pray. But now we're going to pray for obedience to the curfews that have been released in our nation from the government of the Bahamas. And Proverbs 10 and 17 says, Whoever he is discipline shows the way to life, but whoever ignores correction leads others astray. And then I want to read into your head, into your hearing, Romans chapter 13 and verse 1. Because these scriptures tell us, um, these scriptures tell us how we ought to govern ourselves in times like these that we're going through now. So I'm looking in my, in my phone to get the scripture. And Romans 13 and 1 says, Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted. And those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers hold no terror for those who do right, but for those who do wrong. Do you want to be free from fear of the one in authority? Then do what is right, and you will be commended. For the one in authority is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for rulers do not bear the sword for no reason. They are God's servants, agents of wrath, to bring punishment on the wrongdoers. Therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also as a matter of conscience. So I want to pray today that our nation, we will submit to the curfew and wait until it's lifted before we move about as freely as we used to do and what we'd like to do. Father God, we thank you now for releasing the spirit of obedience to our nation. I thank you, Lord, that we all will be obedient to the curfew that has been released and all of the powers that have been released to ensure that COVID-19 does not have a major spread in our nation. I thank you that every person will abide by that power, by those emergency powers. We will practice social distancing, Father, and we will stay in our homes as much as we can. We will only come out when this time is necessary. But God, we thank you for this time that we can sup with you. We can dine with you. We can personally spend some personal time with you. So we thank you for this time now. We, we, we thank you for allowing the Prime Minister to have the wisdom to, 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 to give us this time so that we could sit back and spend time in your presence so that we can sit back and hear some new direction so that we can sit back and so you can release it. Thank you, Lord, for what, you, what you've been saying to some of us and what you're about to say to us. Thank you, Lord, for for us having the spiritual ears to open to hear from you in this season. Father, speak to us individually and speak to us collectively. Speak to us so that we may hear your directions, your instructions, and your corrections. Speak to us, God, so that we will know where you want us to go, where you don't want us to go, and what directions you want us to take. Speak to us now, God, so that we will be able to move forward in this time. In this time. So we thank you, Lord, for the rest time. We thank you, Lord, for the time of impregnation. We thank you, Lord, for the time of, 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 of family. We thank you, Lord, for the time of just being able to retreat and then being able to come out stronger and before. So, Father, we pray that every person in our nation would see this as an opportunity to sit back, to think, to rethink, to regurgitate, to, to, to replan, to replan, to do some new things. Father, I thank you now that our nation, we will walk in obedience. Our young people will walk in obedience. The parents will walk in obedience to, the, to our leaders. The pastors will walk in obedience to the, 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 the powers that has been released. Thank you, Father. 
Thank you, Lord, that none of these things are stringent, but they are just there so that we won't have a widespread like in other nations of the world. So thank you, Lord, for giving our, our leaders the wisdom to protect and to cover us. And so, Father, now I pray for a spirit of, of obedience over our entire nation now in the name of Jesus. Let the Bahamas be a beacon of obedience. Let the Bahamas be a, a, a place where they will be able to say, these are people who are obedient. These are people who love the Lord. These are people who are obedient to rules. These are people who abide by rules. But Father, let us not be like other nations where people are not abiding to what, what the government is trying to do. Let us be a different nation because we are your nation. But we always declare that you live in the Bahamas. So God, now this is time for us to, to show that because we live, because you live here, we are an obedient people. So Father, now bless our leaders who have issued these, all of these sanctions. Bless our leaders. Bless the police officers and the defense for who have to keep things in order. We thank you for our commissioner police and our acting commodore of the Defense Force and all their management team. We thank you for the officers who are on the street every day, officers who are on the sea every day. We thank you for them because they are the ones who have to make sure that these orders are carried out. So I pray a special blessing upon them now in the name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you that no one will rise up against them this season, but we will walk in obedience so that the quicker this thing begins, the quicker this COVID will go away because of our obedience to what you have given our leaders to do. We give you praise and thanks now. In Jesus' name, amen.